Now we're live there on Instagram. My name is Rick Noda, host, founder here at T3 Body, where we tighten tone and transition. Today is the 1st of April, and we just finished, you guys, the nutrition part of our program here in the T3 Body. So we tightened up everybody's diet here. We asked uh, in February for everyone to do their research, decide what type of nutritional strategy that we'll have. Now, we had everything from intermittent fasting along with ketones. Shout out to Michelle Harder and my, my group out there. We also did, uh, some, some people were doing the, long, uh, the Mediterranean diet. Some of my friends were doing the Mark McDonald, you know, eating in threes, uh, low glycemic index, which again, Everything, it, it worked. So the final results here, we had athletes really hit their, their targets. Now, Esteban uh, had really did a great job. He ended up being at 343 pounds. We had uh, Armando, who literally was killing it and ended up losing about 17, right, Esteban? Uh, that's right, yeah. Two, what was it, two, his, his final weight ends up being? Isn't it crazy to say that? I, I, tell his, I tell his brother to say that because it's really funny to say 228 pounds, you guys. It's really, uh, it's really incredible. Uh, this weekend, you guys, you know, if, when one thing leads into another, when I mean momentum is infectious, we had everybody finishing off their nutritional stand, you know, their standards, and then we had the Encinitas Half Marathon. I had Ben and Natalie both competing in, in that actual race. Now, when we say our motivation will inspire you to be better, you guys, what's cool about these athletes is all of these athletes have been training with me for over three years. So when we sat down to go through the tactics of the race, I use objective data. And what that means is I asked my athletes how they felt about this race in 2007, 2018, and I compared those, those their different paces, the wind conditions, how uh, how our training was from year to year, if they had a high volume of training or low volume of training. And then when we sat down, that's when we created that specific, measurable, achievable, realistic targets. You guys, there was no guess that what their times were going to do. It was just how much they were going to suffer. Yes, that is a, that's the thing about half marathons and Ironmans, you guys. It's how much are you willing to suffer. Then right after that strategic planning meeting I had with Natalie and then with Ben, I met with two of my other uh, athletes who were remote athletes who are getting ready for this week to do Ironman Chattanooga. Now, what's kind of nice is this is in, in, in my studio audience here, you guys, I got to give I got to give you a shout out for this because I'm going to tell you, you won't believe it when you hear it. All right. These guys are do, my friends are doing a bucket list race. All right. And if you've ever did a bucket list race, uh, I am going to do Costa Rica in November. That's one of them. You basically go, hey, buddy, let's go do this. And next thing you know, you start to train. But you're training. It, it's not the right time. It's not the greatest thing. You don't have the right amount of funds. You know, but what's kind of cool about that is you grab your buddies, you get into a van or you rent a car, you go to a different state and you guys, instead of doing like a binge drinking or like a bachelor party, you go out and do something gritty and epic. Now, here's what I told these two guys. I asked both of them. I said, hey, when is the last time you worked hard for 12 hours? <laughs> One of the guy goes to me, goes, dude, I'm a farmer. I'm like, so you work hard every day. He goes, dude, I put in 12-hour days every day. I was like, cool. I go, I asked my friend Nate. I go, Nate. He goes, man, I go, I'm hustling right now. I'm trying to set my personal training business up. I mean, I'm working, I'm working 12, maybe 13 hours a day. That's what your Ironman is going to be like. Just think of it as a day, a day in the office. You're going to swim. You're going to bike. You're going to run. We're gonna, they decided, they told me some targets they're going to hit, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic targets. They have a goal for their times. They're off to their race. Now they're worrying about their experience. But that experience raised me to a story, you guys, that I, I couldn't, I, I, I just love. Today being April 1st, I'm going to do what's called the Four Corners uh, uh, eating, eating, I call it the eating buffet. What the Four Corners was is I used to do this when I used to train and I used to put in huge volume. You know, I still put in huge volume, but let's say I'm Nate and those guys and I go for a run. So today what I'm going to do is when I when I uh, leave here around 12 o'clock, there's a nice place right down the street here and that I can drive in and go to that Jack in a Box. Man, there ain't nothing better than a Sour Jack. Then from there, all I got to do is go right across the street to my friends Carl Jr.'s 
And I'm going to tell you, that Carl Jr.'s, that $6 burger, that's one of my favorites. Now, from there, right across the street right there, I can't make it up. There's a Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. There ain't nothing better than getting a 10 stack or 12 stack of those <coughs> crunchy tacos. And then my my final, my favorite, but not my my last, little Popeye's chicken. Oh, yeah, that spicy chicken that you get right there. Nothing better than when some biscuits and some gravy. I, I'm telling you, get some honey and throw that on there. I'm going to get four meals, you guys, just like that. And those four meals, I'm going to put them in my car. And as I'm walk, as I'm driving home, I'm going to be eating those biscuits. I'm going to be eating those, eating that Popeye's chicken. I'm going to be eating a taco. And you guys, you know what? I wear 5'11 tactical clothing so that it doesn't stain. So I can get a little sauce right here. I'm going to eat all of that food, you know? And, you know, and the, one of those cool reasons is because, man, there's probably about, I think about 15, maybe 18,000 calories in what I just told you right there. And I think I'm just going to go regular high fructose Coca-Cola, you guys, and I'm going to eat all that. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to taste good. It's the first week in April. I deserve it. Um, I think that, you know, I've deprived myself long enough of, of, of eating healthy and clean. Um, I think I should cheat. Um, April Fools. You guys, of course I can convince myself to eat like SHIT. Of course I can use a date on the calendar to tell myself to you know, I hate to do the ghost things, reward myself with, sh with crappy food. No, you guys, it's April Fool's and you are not the fool. You are the one that has already created the habits so that for April now, as we're building on April, we're toning it up. We already tightened up of everything. Now we're toning through the springtime. So as, as, as we tone up, this is where we make a little bit, uh, a little bit more push to what your goal is. Traveling with your family a little bit more. It, going to that physical therapist to work out on that, that shoulder that's been bugging you. Treat yourself. All right, Dr. Parker right here is willing and waiting for us to come in here because that's what we're doing is we're toning up our life in April so that when we get to the summertime, we transition into a lifestyle that we're, we're happy and we're proud of, you guys. So I'm thanks for joining me here on April Fool's Day today. I hope I got some of you guys because you know what? I love eating. So when I, when I love to eat, and you guys know I love to eat, you could see the passion when I talk about crappy food. But I'll, I'll tell you this. I replace it with my panic and coffee. It's the power that, that that's B. It's got ketones. It's got some caffeine, and it tastes really good. And this is what has helped me level off. Again, I think of this as a hybrid. I have ketones, which is my hybrid battery, and then I eat plant-based foods, and it keeps my body moving. And what it does is it helps our motivation inspire you to be better. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Let's see how your April Fool's goes. Keep up the momentum. And I got to tell you, studio audience, thank you so much. Whoa. Good job. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Rick Noda, founder at T3 Body, where we tighten, tone, and transition. If you're looking to get a hold of me via email, go to info at t3bodyencinitas.com. That's info at t3bodyencinitas.com. Follow me on Instagram at t3body or YouTube. We're looking for subscribers at t3body. Now, our Facebook Right now, we're working on it. It's at CaliFitWKO, but stay tuned for that Facebook to match that T3 body where our motivation inspires you to be better.